okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahavashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahavashai, and who I reverence. And honours to, to those that are in the Holy Spirit, right? And to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and learning across the globe in the hopes of being saved with him these last days and yes this lesson is a little bit late but nonetheless as long as we're still what pushing forward not going backwards not digressing and seeking Yahweh Yahweh as much as we can this lesson there's so much I'm thinking about so it's going to be it may be a variety of topics and I want to start off on Isaiah because what a lot of people don't realise, what a lot of individuals don't realise, Yahweh what Yahweh shall control, Yahweh what Yahweh shall controls all things, the good, the evil. When you have demons out here, it's Yahweh Shai that controls these demons. So are you supposed to be scared of the deep? No, because Yahweh Shai controls them demons, right? He controls the right hand spirits and them left hand sided spirits, and the left hand side spirit is working to what try to cast out uncertainty fear that's what the left hand side is set up to do to try and stop you from what gaining salvation but the right hand side is going to prevail right bat pole met ain't going to save you satan ain't going to save you okay this is what people they don't realize that there's a spirit behind everything you do right Let's go to Isaiah 45 and we're going to go straight to verse 7. Actually, let's start at 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me, none other. Right? Yahweh, Yahweh, is the ultimate power. So a wise man, what's he going to do? He's going to fear Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. That's the ultimate power. He controls everything. Everything. There's none beside me. There's no other, other guy, gods, these idols that people are praying to. I am the Lord, Yahweh, I was And none, there is none else. None other. I form the light. So when you see light, guess who forms that light? Guess who forms it? Yahweh, I was Right? So that light, yeah, it's formed by him. Okay. Day. Okay. When it's daytime. Who forms that light? Yahweh Shai. Okay. Wisdom. Okay. All these things belong to him. Alright. I form the light and create darkness. So even darkness. Created by who? Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Night time ignorance wickedness so he controls both sides and i make peace and create evil so when there's peace and when there's evil who do you think does that yahweh yahweh shy okay so when you see evil going on people doing evil it's yahweh that's put a what a spirit upon him to do that to work evil I, the Lord Yahweh, shall do all these things. So that would put to bed this whole thing about uh, we got free will, we could do what we want. No, that's that's Satanism. That's the mentality of Satan. <laughs> okay, Satan has that mentality, right? But popular contrary to proper belief, you can't just do what you want. Okay. Yahabashai controls everything. Let's go to Samuels. See if we can find it. I think it's Samuels 4 and 6. And this is what a lot of people are going to find out. Right? Sooner or later. This whole thing about I, I, I control my own destiny. No, you don't. It's not, even, it's not even up to you when you wake up. So 
well, let's sort this out. Bear me just a minute, see if I can find it. If I can't find it, we move on. Can't find it right now, but in second, another summer in some second Samuels. Four and six. It says, I, I kill, I make alive. I bring it down to the grave. I raise it up. So all these things are controlled by Yahweh Yahweh Okay. That's why what? Fear him. Now we're going to go to Ephesians. Six and ten. And this is vital. This scripture could be used every single day. Applied every single day. Finally, brethren, my brethren, be strong. So we have to continue to be strong in the grace of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right? Mentally. And because a lot of people in this world, they're not mentally strong. They're weak mentally. They might be physically strong, but mentally they're weak. They're small in the mind. Right? That's why they become what? Conquered by what? Satan. But when you have the scriptures, guess what? Everything, it balances everything out. Everything. And in the power of his might, and he's mighty to save, and he's going to save his elect. Put on the whole armour of the Most High. The whole. Okay, so they can't be no chinks. Because that's what Satan's looking for. A loophole. Okay, and remember, Satan's always watching. I don't want to give him too much credit. Because I just see him as the necessary evil to get where we need to get so when the spiritual demon satan jumps on individuals bugged out individuals for them to do silly things it's like well how about they're doing that okay but they're doing that just because so, look you're off the hopeful elect someone needs to come up against you just so they can be condemned that's why i keep saying it stop looking at particular situations out oh, it's just a bad thing all right but there's good that comes out of it Okay, because now, especially that you've repented, if you brothers and sisters, if you've repented, you're really, really fervent about this truth. Satan's gonna step it up a notch. He sees that you're, he sees that you're sincere. He sees that you really believe. He sees that you're diligent. So what do you think the spiritual demon Satan's gonna do? He's gonna jump on what people's vessels, right? To come up against you, but he's doing it just so they can be destroyed. So you can see who they are and they can see who you are. Because them demons know. The scripture says that. When you had them vagabond Jews. Paul I know, Peter I know. But who are they? And that's why they got beaten black and blue and they got overtaken by them spirits. Because them spirits never recognised them. Right? They got overtaken. That's why this thing is serious. Verse 11. Put on the whole armour. So all, not just some. And yeah, there is going to be days where we're lacking. Okay. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because remember what this is a battle. It's a battle of the mind. The soul. This is how far Esau, the spiritual demon, is going to take it. Alright, you got your flesh in check. He wants your mind. This is what you're going to understand. It's a battle for the mind. So how do you gird your mind with the scriptures? By applying and applying it the right way. Put on the whole armour of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So all, oh, and what's wiles? Tricks. Because that's how the devil operates. Tricks, schemes, plots. Okay. That's what he uses. Sometimes he come to you straightforward, but most time it's by what? Deception. That's how he worms his way in. By tricks. By trying to trick you. By what? Wizardry. Manipulation. Okay. Witchcraft. And this is what this system is set up. Okay. As what? Witchcraft. This whole system. Right? And that's the only way you can stand if you're girded by the scriptures. No other way. Right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is not a physical battle. And I always try to tell brothers this. This is not a physical battle. It says we wrestle not against flesh, but against what? Principalities. Right? This ain't flesh and blood. Okay. 
but we wrestle not against what flesh and blood but against principalities the highest level of spirits that are out up, up on these people so the best way to combat it is through the scriptures apply what did you have do when he was tempted apply it right and against powers and these principalities are working with beginning with the elite banking families on down right and the lower illuminaries as they were called themselves right the all gather do witchcraft use tarot cards but guess what them demons that they're praying to it's going to turn on them it's going to be a curse to them and yes brothers in this truth yes you can put up curses on wicked individuals those that are not about the truth especially those that are in the world if it's someone in the world you know that's working mischief just put a curse on them i've done it I've done it. You just put a curse on you, you just put a curse on them. Right? Their families, they start bugging out. <laughs> Their family starts bugging out. I'm not talking about the brothers that are in the faith that are sincere. I'm talking about those you know, they're just against the truth. Those that are teaching away with doctrine, put a curse on them. And their family. I've done it. Okay. Next thing, what? People start losing their jobs, their whole life will start crumbling. That's good. They they praying against you. That's why we gotta stay prayed up. And sometimes, guess what? You don't even need to put a curse. You just just say a prayer, and things start what happening. <laughs> okay. Just stay in the spirit. And against rulers of darkness. So guess what? That's what we're battling against. The rulers of darkness. So you have those that are upon this earth. Yes, they rule over darkness, over wickedness. And they push it out what into the earth. Okay. Because again, you have people that watch our videos secretly, right? They watch your videos, it could be it could be your next door neighbor that has demons on them. <laughs> okay. It could be people you know in the world. Yep. They watch our videos. But if they have the wrong mind towards it, it's just gonna condemn them. Like personally, I wouldn't watch. If, if I thought someone was talking rubbish, I never liked them, I wouldn't watch their videos. But certain individuals, they were set up to do that just so they can be condemned. Okay? And against the rulers of darkness of this world, which are the elites, and they push this out. Right? And against spiritual wickedness in higher places, so that's what we're fighting against. Spiritual wickedness in higher places in the heavens because that's where it starts and up on earth because it starts in the heavens everything is spiritual and it's played out in the physical so them spirits are upon what certain men to work mischief okay so we are up against a lot but guess what we have you have a shy and spiritual wickedness in higher places especially in these cities right the cities is a very 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 demonic vibration within these cities and that's why sometimes when you go to the wilderness, it's much more what calm. Okay. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. Again, it says take all of it, not some. Okay. That you may be able to withstand in an evil day. So this is how we're able to withstand, stand firm, steadfast through the armor, which is what the scriptures that we may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So this is how we do all to stand. Through what? These words. Through the scriptures and applying. Okay. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Because the truth is like... You see them, them um, horror movies with the vampires. What do they hate? The, the so-called cross. But today's terms, what would they hate? The truth. The scriptures. So... What's the antidote for these demons? It's the scriptures. Okay, the truth. Okay. And having on the breastplate of righteousness because the demon, the devil, doesn't like truth. What does the devil hide behind? Lies. So what do you attack the devil with? Truth. Okay. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, which is this word. Okay, walking to, to, to the best of our abilities in the ways of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And your feet shod. Okay, strapped with preparation of the gospel of peace. So this is what we gotta what strap our minds with. What peace, the gospel 
of peace. And this truth, what does it bring? What is it supposed to bring? Peace. And this is why I say a lot, we go into prophecies and all these other things, make sure you get into the gospels. That brings peace. Because the gospel, what does it teach you? Salvation, new covenant, promises, Yahweh Shai. The sacrifice. And with that, what do we have? Comfort. Okay. So all these things, what does it bring forth? Comfort. If you, if you have Yahweh Shai, you have all the comfort in your world. The people in the world, they don't have this comfort. So they look at you, they hate it, they want it, but it, they, they don't have it. So we got to be grateful and say, Tawadi Yahawah Yahweh Shai, Tawadi Yahawah, for, the, for this blessing. And the blessing is, is an increasement. Okay? Which is this word. And the demons hate that. <laughs> okay? And it says, verse 16, above all, taking the shield of faith. So faith keeps us shielded. Okay? Without faith, how are you shielded? You just, it just means you're just out there, open season, and then spirits can do what they want. So faith is that shield. Right? Wherever you shall be able to what, quench the fiery darts of the wicked. So this shall be quenched in fiery darts that are being shot in secret. Right? And that's by what? Them schemes. So how do we protect ourselves from that? Through what the shield of faith, applying faith, reading, praying, fasting. Where we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So that's how we quench it. Right? We quench it with what? Faith. Okay. So them darts are still gonna hit and fiery darts, but they're quenched, they're put out by what faith? And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word, which is the word of the most high. Let's go to Hebrews. Because secretly, why do people react the way they react? Because of the word. Okay. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the word, for the word of Yahweh Asha is quick, straight to the point, and powerful. And brothers, when you have this word. You gotta realize what you're speaking, you're speaking power. Right? You're speaking things into existence through this word. Right? And not everybody can do that. That's the gift of what the hopeful elect. Right? And it says it's powerful. So this word, there's power to it. It has an effect. It affects people, it affects their lives. Right? Excuse me. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So this word is sharp. Right? It cuts spiritually. You got people being cut so bad they can't even rest. They can't even get no sleep. They're upset. You got certain people, they don't like you, but they're obsessed with you. And in war, if someone's obsessed with you, if someone's always thinking about you, you've already won. You've already mastered them. Right? So all we need to do is what? Just teach this word. Sharpen any two-edged sword, a physical sword. This is sharper than that. The power is in the, I've always said that the power is in the words, not what we think, not what we feel. The power is in the word of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And that's what we need to do, speak this word. And Yahweh Shai will, he does the rest. Piercing even the divine, a son of soul and spirit. So it pierces a man's soul, right? And again, can we, do, can we apply this to us also? Yes, because what made us repent? What made us to come back to Yahweh Shai and seek his mercy and seek salvation was us being cut. So it happens to all. But some get cut to repentance and some get cut to destruction. Right? Dividing asunder of soul and spirit and it's the joints and of the marrow. So it gets right up in the joints and the marrow. That's the bone, the bone tissue. So it has people quivering them, walking a certain way. Has them paranoid, okay? This is what this word does. People you may not even know personally. They feel a particular way. But this is what this word does, right? And is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So this word, yes, it discerns. The intent of the heart, which is what? The might, right? 
has got the power to do that. And that's why the powers in the word always stick with the words. Don't lean on your own opinion. What you feel, what you think. Always let the scriptures come out. Right? And it is a, it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So this word, it even searches out what? Intent. Of heart. So I always say this, you don't need to, why are you bothered what individuals think? You don't need to worry about what this, what's this person thinking? What's that person thinking? The word searches them out. Just go about your day, teach the word, and the word will search them out. If someone ain't right, <laughs> this word will search them out It will search out their intents Example, if someone's got long hair Like a woman Right, the scripture says You shouldn't have long hair Okay That's a woman's trait So if you've got long hair If that scripture comes out If a man ain't right In his spirit He's going to feel a particular way Right a man's got long hair like a woman. You can't tell if this is a man or a woman. You think, what, is this a, is this, is this a transvestite? Is this a transgender? What is it? you got to say, what is it? Okay. And you can't even say that in your workplaces now because now they want to sack you. Okay. The whole LGBTism and all that rubbish, that freak show. But it's what they push out. Okay. And why was that place? Why was Sodom and Gomorrah and the rest of them four cities destroyed? Because of their wickedness. Because of their perverseness. And our people, what, they still don't learn today? But if you with that, guess what? You get, you get promoted. You get the higher seats. Okay. <laughs> this place, that's why this place has to go. Okay. So this word, yeah, it searches out the mark, the minds of the wicked and also the righteous. Okay. Ephesians 6 and where was we finished on 18 pray all, praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit and this is something I need to do more as well pray more pray without ceasing because the elites and the wicked and the witches and the warlocks and the magis they're praying against you they're putting spells up against you so what pray against them right and guess what the prayer of the righteous availeth much okay so knowing that, send out them prayers. Okay? Pray always with all prayer. And there's so many prayers. And it's best, if you can learn it in the Hebrew, you can do it in English, but if you can learn a prayer in the Hebrew, that's even better. Because there's more power within the Hebrew. Right? It's with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching them unto with all perseverance, because there's still a lot of things happening. Watch the news. Keep an eye out. A lot of things happening. Right, which is the word of the most high. Hold on a minute, I'm moving too fast. It's making supplication in the spirit, begging, requests, and make it known because Yahweh does hear our prayers. Okay, and it says all perseverance. So we've got to what persevere, we've got to be strong. Okay, even though we're going through these trials and supplication for all the saints, so we also make supplication for what the life. That's why I said, Yes, yeah, good. You could pray for brothers as well okay make supplication right for the brothers because this is a constant battle and when you go to job you have to go to it again as we get closer to the end them demons are gonna what react right as we get closer to the end got hebrews get that on deck Go to Hebrews 1 and 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? So, like I said, you know how you got the right hand side spirits and you got left hand side spirits? They're all ministering spirits. They minister to who? The Heavenly Father and to the Son, Yahweh Shai. Right? Are they not all ministering spirits? Right? So their job is to minister. Yes, even Satan, the Satan ain't warring against the Most High. He's working for the Most High, right? Doing the Most High's bidding, right? 
sent forth to minister. So that's yes, that's what they're sent forth to do. Minister, right? For them who shall be heirs of salvation. So on the right hand side, yes, you have angels that want minister unto us. Right? Guide us. Keep us on that right path. Right? Help us out. And you also got those on what? On the left. Right? That are what slated to cause havoc, mischief, and so they can be destroyed. But they work for the Heavenly Father. Even in the kingdom to come, them spirits are they're still going to be there. Right? Plaguing the other nations. Right? You're not going to have to worry about that in the kingdom. Oh, this, this fault, that fault. You're not going to have to worry about that in the kingdom. Right? And that's, guess what? That's the beauty of it as well. So now let's go to Job 1 and get straight to the point, get straight to the point. And 7, and the Lord Yahweh Abishai said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh, and said, So he's answering, he's answering to the Heavenly Father. Right? He ain't doing his own thing, right? From going to and fro in the earth. To and fro in the earth. So Satan ain't doing his own thing, all right? I'm walking up and down in it. So yes, spiritual demon Satan's up and down, walking up and down. Spiritual demon Satan what? Up on men's vessels. What? Working mischief. Right? From walking up and down it. And the Lord Jehovah said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? That it is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man. So Job was not wicked. You would, you would think he was, despite all, all the things that happened with Job, you would think he was. Right? One that fareth the most high. Right? And excueth evil. So he hated evil. He was not with it, right? Then Satan answered the Lord, Yahweh, I was shy. I said, Job, doth Job fear the most high for naught? So, this is what you've got to understand. Remember, this is spiritual, right? So, Satan's looking at it like, well, does he just fear you? Of course, he's going to fear you. <laughs> Everything's going well. Okay. So this also goes into the, the, the mindset of what? The spiritual demon Satan. When Satan asks the Lord, Yahweh, does Job fear for you for naught? Has I not made an hedge about him and about his house? Right? And all about that he have on every side. Every single side. Thou has blessed the work of his hands. Right? So yes, there's a hedge. Because remember, if you're of the hopeful elect, Yahweh has got a hedge around you, a protection barrier. And bless the work of his hands and his substance is increasing the land. Put forth thy hand now and touch all that he have and he will curse thee to thy face. So, this also goes into the mindset of how Satan's thinking. So even men, you have them thinking like that as well. Well, he's only serving Yahweh because uh, things are going well. You know, he's living all right. <laughs> okay. There was a bet being placed, and he have, and he will curse you to thy face. So Satan's job is to get us to say, nah, this ain't good enough. You know, I can't take it. No, but to throw in the towel. That's his job. Why? Because that's the devil. That's what he's set up to do. It's simple as that. Right? And the Lord Jehovah said unto Satan, Behold, all that he have is in thy power. Right? Only upon himself, put not forth thy hands, or Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord, you I was shy. Right? So there was a bit place over what? Him and the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father always wins. Why? Because he controls all things. Right? So them spirits are here, these wicked spirits, and you can curse them out. You can say, Abad, Babal, Abad, Shatan. You know? Because he's just doing what he's supposed to. So you can't. I used to say all the time when I first come true, sometimes I may still say, oh, that's Satan. Because you acknowledge it is, but he's just doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> he's just under them orders, right? 
And that's it. And it says, I went from, forth from the presence of the Lord. So it says he went forth from the presence of the Lord Yahweh. So anything he does needs permission. He ain't doing his own thing, he ain't rebelling. There's no rebelling as the Christian churches teach you. Because even in masonry, the witches, they teach, that's, that's where they're going wrong. They teach you that they're rebelling. They're not rebelling. <laughs> and how do you not know they're not rebelling? Because everything is under the will of Yahweh Abishai. Okay. So when you see people doing wicked mischief, you just know, well, that's the spirit that was put upon them. Okay. Very simple. Very simple. Now we're going to go to Job 2. And it was the same thing again. Verse 3. And the Lord, Yahweh, right, said unto Satan, As I could have must consider my servant Job. But it is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man. One that feared the most and the screw of even still hold fast his integrity. Right? And that's the most important thing. Man shall not live by bread alone, but what? By every word that proceedeth out of his mouth. Although thou movest me against him. So that's the whole agenda. This way, reading this, this should put you on a real, real, real higher wavelength. Highest of wavelengths. Right? Although thou movest me against him. So that's the job of the wicked. To move us, to move the Heavenly Father against us. To get, to blame us, to accuse us. Before the heavenly father say, this is what your servant is doing. This is what he's done. This is what you've got to be understand. Satan's going to chuck all these things at you. Look, look at his record. Yahweh, Yahweh, look at his record. See, see, but that's, that's what a carnal man would do. Because when you read the gospel, what does it talk about? Salvation, mercy, and yet also judgment. But the gospels, what does it bring forth? Mercy, salvation. Okay. So when these things come, you've got to read the scriptures and understand what the spiritual demon Satan is doing. Right? You've got to understand what he's doing. And move what? Accordingly. <laughs> okay? Maybe just a minute. And although that moveth me against him. Right? To destroy him without a cause. So that's the whole MO of wicked men. Is to get us accused before the Heavenly Father. And that's why you, when you get that word devil, what does it mean? Slanderer, a culminator, one who acts to, uh, on the part of the devil. So yes, you also have men of our nation, rare of the devil. Okay. But sometimes we give them too much credit. Okay. And one thing, I want to say this. I'm not one, if anyone knows me, I'm not one for putting curses up. I'm not one for doing that at all, right? At all. But when I so when I if when I do do it, I I mean it. I'm talking about I mean it. When I do put up a curse, I mean it because I'm not one to do that. <laughs> okay. I've been saying that because I've, I've, I have to do that, right? To the enemies of Yahweh, I put a curse on them, right? Rightfully so. I'm on verse four, and Satan answered the Lord Yahweh, I was shy. Right? And said skin for skin. Right? Yeah, all that a man have he would give for his life. But put forth thy hand now and touch his bone in his flesh. And he will curse you to thy face. So even times where even in the flesh troubled affirmities. I've been dealing with that lately. Horrible affirmities. I was feeling good middle of last week. Then from what like Thursday, right? Things started to what? Kind of take a spiral, health wise. Right? Even men somewhat mentally. But you still gotta have that look. It's of Yahweh Shai. Right? Everything we do is of Yahweh Shai. Keep that in mind. Right? So it says, bear me just a minute. So it's Satan from, from the presence of the Lord Yahweh Shai smoke job with boils. Right? So there'll be times even in your flesh is a bit what? smitten with plagues right from the side of his foot unto his crown right and you could imagine that that pain in the flesh okay 
and he took him a posture to scrape with all. Right? And he sat down among, right? The ashes. So that he, he, you got to imagine, he was in great agony. In the flesh. Okay. Rent to these wife unto him, dost thou still retain that integrity? Curse the most high and die. So his woman, what, what, what did that show you? Satan could operate on anyone, your family. And that's why if you're living with your family, it's more what? It could be more troublesome because the spirits would what, jump on them. But that's why what you need that right balance. Don't be around them too long. If they're starting to act up, move from them, right? Everything can balance, everything, right? You want to be balanced within this truth, right? And you want what the right balance, right? Because the scriptures are unjust, weight is a, what an abomination with your how you shy. So you want that right balance, right? Not a um, not an unjust balance, the right balance, right? So Satan jumped on his woman, okay, to cause what? To cause doubt. Okay, and that's why we're not supposed to doubt. And Satan's going to use that what doubt, unsurety. We're not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to believe in Yahushai and the record of what his son. Right. Verse ten. But he said unto her, "Those speakers as what? As one of those foolish women. You sound like one of them silly women." And that's why what it was said out of a thousand women I found none, none that were righteous, right? None at all, okay? Now speakers is one of those foolish women speaking. What, shall we receive good? Okay. At the hand of the Messiah shall not receive evil. So we receive both. Because you need what, that perfect balance. And that's what Yahweh Shai deals with, balance, right? And a right balance Because if you didn't have up You wouldn't want to know what down was If you didn't have down You wouldn't know what up was So everything is what? In balance Everything Right? Those speakers is one of those foolish women speaking Right? What shall we receive goods? At the hand of the most high And shall we not receive evil? So what is it? A just way, a just measure, right? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So all this was happening, he still never sinned with his lips, right? Because what was the whole bet? That he would what, curse Yahweh and die. That was it, right? But he never. Why? Because he had what? Something called faith. Okay, and faith goes a long way. And Mark, again, let's go to Matthew 4. When was Yahweh led up of the Spirit? So, this is why you got to apply the Scriptures. Into the wilderness. What Spirit was that? Was it the Spirit of Satan? No, it's the Holy Spirit. Right? Into the wilderness to be tempted. Okay, of the devil. So Yahweh was tempted of the devil, right? More than one occasion, and this was what forty days and forty nights, right? And as he had fasted forty days, so this was forty days he was fasting for. Forty days, right? And 40 nights. So 40 days, 40 nights, that's some time. Right? And afterward he was a hundred. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of the Most High, command. Key thing, command. Right? That these stones be made bread. Why was this said? Because he was hungry. Right? And not, not, yeah, because he was hungry, but Satan knew he was hungry. 
So the weaknesses, the things you may struggle with, those are the things that are used. Okay. And it says, and when the tempter came to him, if thou be the son of... And you know what he said? He said, if. So there was doubt. He tried to cast doubt because we know Yahabashai is the son of the Most High. So what was he trying to do? Cast doubt and uncertainty. Right? Command that these stones be made bread. And guess what? He had the power to do that. To command those stones to actually be made as what? Bread. Into bread. But that was what? A temptation. But he wouldn't have done it. He wasn't, he wasn't supposed to do it. Right? Because it's, it's easier to just say, yeah, do that. And he could have done it. But no, because then he would have what? Broken his word. Okay, and throw what to that temptation? Okay, but he also said, it is written, man shall not live by bread only. So we're not just living by bread only, right? Alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. That's what we live by. These words, to the best of our ability, right? Then the devil take him up into a holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple, right? The highest mount. And say unto him, if thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down. Jump off. Try to make, get him to what? Jump off. That's suicidal. Okay. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And that showed you Satan used the scriptures. So Satan he shall try to come at you with the scriptures. What do you do? Combat it with a scripture. Right? And in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. So Satan was what? Messing with his mind. Trying to mess with his mind. Yahushua said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord Yahushua, thy power. And again, the devil take him into an exceeding high mountain. Right? And show him all the kingdoms of the world. And this is why a lot of people what, sell out. The fame, the glory of the world. And a lot of men, they, they fell victim to this. Okay? A lot of these men in these camps. Right? And the glory of them, and saith unto him, all these will I give thee, if thou shalt fall down. So what? The glory of past, of past kingdoms and former kingdoms. And worship me. This shows you this current rulership is ruled by Satan. When you have then say if you have shown to him, get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord Jehovah thy power, and him only should I serve. Him only. When the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So for everything we go through, when you battle, remember it's a test, and the angels what come and what comfort comfort us, right? And they minister. And guess what? You're built up back again. But remember, they leave for what? A season. But they always come back. But the main thing is what? Applying the scriptures to the best of our ability. Right? Because we are going to fall short. So with this lesson, I hope this is edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.